Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Discussion Days on Understandable English. On Discussion Days, I choose a topic and tell you all about it. While listening, you can learn some new vocabulary and phrases at the same time. Afterwards, I'll ask you some questions, and you can tell me about your opinion in the comments down below. As always, I'll help you fix your mistakes. Today's topic is the 4th of July, or American Independence Day. So let's take a look. The 4th of July, Independence Day. This is the day that the United States signed the document, the Declaration of Independence, that told the king in Britain that they didn't want to be part of the kingdom. They wanted to be independent. They wanted to be their own country. So we celebrate this day every year. Nowadays, this is one of the biggest holidays and celebrations in the United States. But because the US is so big, each person's and family's traditions are a little bit different. So I'll tell you about my experiences celebrating the United States and the independence of the United States. In my small town, we always started the 4th of July with a fun run. This is when everybody in the town old or young, big or small, comes together and has a little short race or run. Typically it's one mile for younger people or 10 kilometers for people who are more experienced and ready to run. We run through the whole city, it's a lot of fun, and at the end we have a little party. It's a great way to start the 4th of July. As far as I know, this tradition is very common in many places around the United States. Later on in the day, we have a big parade. In every small town or village, big or small, there is always some sort of parade. All the local clubs and groups from the different villages will make their own floats or decorations that they put in the parade. Typically, the people in the parade will throw candy to the kids who are watching. So as a kid, it was always fun to try to see how much candy you could pick up and bring home. As a teenager, I began to participate in these parades. I was in the marching band in my school, and so we would play music as we marched or walked through this parade. Also, when I got to university, I got to participate in marching bands in many other parades. So I've had lots of experience in many different small town parades and celebrations. After the parade, we would typically go home with our family and have a barbecue or a cookout in the yard if the weather was nice. My dad would normally cook hamburgers or some sort of brats or bratwursts, which are like a type of sausage. And we would have some yummy salads from our garden and all kinds of other yummy and tasty foods. As the evening came, or when it was evening, we would go back to the town or village and enjoy the 4th of July fun fair, which is just like a fair or a park with lots of rides and attractions for kids. There was also live music and lots of fun for adults. In general, the whole town and village would come to the fun fair and have lots of fun. Finally, when it was dark out, we had a fireworks show. Even in my little town, we still managed to have a big, big fireworks show, which was always lots of fun. So I've told you a little bit about my experiences on the 4th of July. Now you tell me, how does your country celebrate its independence or its creation? Don't forget to write the answers in the comments down below. As always, I'll help you fix your mistakes. If you learn something new, feel free to press like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Understandable English. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Toodles.